Hello. Welcome to the Drexel University Health Sciences Library's National Guideline Clearinghouse video tutorial. We're currently viewing the Health Sciences website to access the National Guideline Clearinghouse or NGC. We could search for that via Google or you could navigate to that resource using the library's subject guides. I'll click the subject guides link now. On the subject guide page, I'll scroll down and select the evidence-based medicine subject guide. From here, you can see many evidence-based resources. The NGC is located further down the page underneath the section marked Electronic Journals and Databases. I'll click the link that will access the NGC. And this is a free resource that's provided in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the AHRQ. We'll base our search in this resource on this clinical question. Susie, the mother of a two-year-old child with asthma, is concerned about the upcoming cold and flu season. She's interested in having her child receive the influenza vaccine, but she's afraid that the vaccine could trigger her daughter's asthma. What does the current available evidence suggest? All right, so I'll click into the search box, and if I was gonna translate that clinical question into search terms, specific to this resource, I would search for asthma, and I would also throw in influenza vaccine. There's no need to enter in an AND command here. An AND is automatically implied within the search box, so I'll just hit the Go button and see what happens. This does a nice job. It happens to bring back 33 results. If I wanted to be a little more inclusive, I could make a small change to capture a few more items. I'm going to remove the E from vaccine and replace it with an asterisk or a wildcard. This allows this resource to fill in the back portion of the word so it could find vaccines, vaccine, vaccinate, or any type of variation like that. I'll hit the search button now and this happens to bring back 41 items. Let's take a look at the results now. I'll scroll down the page a bit. And we can see the title of the guidelines. They're very specific. We can see when the guides were updated as well as when they were originally created. It's also apparent where this information comes from. In this case, this is from the CDC. Not all guidelines are created equally. So it's a good thing to examine them and also see if any levels of evidence rankings are applied within the document. Let's examine one of these guidelines. I'll scroll down and let's take a look at number 14. This was revised in 2011. I'll click the link and these can be rather large documents. This is the summary version of the guideline. If we're looking for the bibliographic source, that's always listed here towards the top. And we could scroll down, or in many cases, I like to do a find in page. If we do a find, I could look for a word like asthma in this case. This actually brings me right to the influenza vaccine section. In this case, the information provided is marked with the rank A or level of evidence A. One good thing to know is that if you're moving guideline to guideline within the NGC, the ranks that you see and the levels of evidence provided can vary document to document. 
Within each guideline, there should be a table documenting what these ranks or levels of evidence actually mean. In many cases, these can be located towards the bottom of the document. So I'll scroll down here. And here are the definitions of the research reports that are given. So we can see an A represents a randomized controlled trial. In some cases, ranks or levels of evidence aren't provided within a document. I'll step back and let's examine our first citation. I'll click into this link now. And again, I'll do a fine for the word asthma. As we're looking through this document, we can see some recommendations being offered. But what I find interesting is there's no rank or level of evidence applied along with this information. The statement is coming from the CDC, a very trusted source of information. But without a rank applied, a user is left to guess at what level of evidence this information stems from. Please make sure to take this into account while examining guidelines. This concludes the National Guideline Clearinghouse video tutorial. Thank you.